Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Rogue Agent, and this is a new thriller that's coming out on AMC Plus from IFC, and this focuses on the horrible, horrible cons that Robert Freeguard committed as he pretended to be an MI5 agent and would kidnap people, fooling them into hiding, fooling them into thinking that they've been recruited, and stealing all of their money. And this is an apparently an incredibly infamous case in the UK. And this film is directed by Declan Lawn and Adam Patterson. And together they make a very crisp and very sleek kind of thriller. There isn't any overly stylistic like framings or lighting or anything like that. But this has that very specific just impactful and efficient kind of British filmmaking that's very sleek and like you see this kind of I feel like you see a lot of this in like Bleecker Street films but like this is very there it's has a sense of foreboding around it it utilizes its music effectively and in general the story and the plotting and the narrative are very, like, you know, besides, like, the opening part where there's definitely a bit of intrigue to what's really going on, you kind of know and you expect Robert Freeguard to be a scumbag and trying to con people. But James Norton plays Freeguard with so much charisma and so much presence, you could easily tell how he fooled all these people into believing who he wanted them to believe he was. And this performance from Norton is really impressive, but the real impressive performances are from Gemma Arterton, who plays Alice, who's the woman that helped bring him down. She was able to really see through his crap er a lot earlier than some of his other victims. She still wound up getting a lot of money stolen from her. But she, Arterton is a strong and confident lead performance in this film. There's moments, there's one particular scene where she's in a bar on the phone with him, and just the way that she's holding this, like, stiff upper lip, except, like, tears are slowly trickling down her face. It's just, like, those kind of moments, that was all Archerton and just her ability to bring that sense of strength even in a vulnerable situation where she knows she's been screwed over and he's definitely playing emotional games with her but she's holding it together because she can it's still upsetting but she could see through his lies and then you have the likes of Sarah Gordon and uh, and uh, Marissa Abela who both of them have some moments to really shine in this film where they are victims of Free Guard and how they're dealing with things, how they're slowly breaking down. Their performances are impressive. They really sell that. Um, there's some supporting characters throughout here, but I do really like Julian Barrett, who pops up of uh, Mighty Boosh fame, who winds up being a private investigator that's working with Alice. And in general, there's definitely times where this two-hour runtime feel a little too long, and I feel like the narrative could have gotten to where it needed to be in a more efficient way at times. But still, this is a story that's crazy and fascinating even if like you know it takes on some familiar tropes and beats in terms of how you portray and tell a thriller story a con story but it's really well made impeccably acted this is just a well crafted well done thriller that i definitely think will grab people's attention and especially if you're into thrillers like this this is a high quality effort definitely worth checking out even though it's on AMC+, Plus, which is like the most horrible streaming service to try to actually watch something on. But those are my thoughts on Rogue Agent. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.